Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we are here together in the name of Lord Jesus Christ to worship our Father God in heaven. We want to be cleansed our sins and iniquitous transgressions, whatever we sin with our heart, with our body, hands and feet, Lord, our mouth, Lord, cleanse us so that we may be able to worship you in spirit and in truth, in your holiness, Lord, in the midst of presence of Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, let me read Psalm, book of Psalm, chapter 7, verse 1 through 17. O Lord my God, in thee do I put my trust. Save me from all them that persecute me and deliver me, lest he, lest he tear my soul like a lion, rending it in pieces, while there is none to deliver. O Lord my God, if I have done this, if there be iniquity in my hands, if I have rewarded evil unto him that was at peace with me, yeah, I have delivered him that without cause is mine enemy. Let the enemy persecute my soul and take it, yeah. Let him tread down my life unto the earth and lay mine honor in the dust, Selah. Arise, O Lord, in thine anger. Lift up thyself because of the rays of mine enemies and awake for me to the judgment that thou hast commanded. So shall the congregation of the people compass thee about for their sake. Therefore return thou on high. The Lord shall judge the people. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness and according to mine integrity that is in me. O let the wickedness of the wickedest come to an end, but establish the just for the righteous God. Try the heart and reins. My defense is of God, which saved the upright in heart. God judges the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. If he turn not, he will want his word. His sword, he hath bent his bow and make it ready. He hath also prepared for him the instruments of death, he ordained his arrows against the prosecutors. Behold, he travails with iniquity and hath conceived mischief and brought forth falsehood. He made a pit and digged it and uh, is fallen into the ditch which he made. His mischief shall return upon his own head and his violent Dealing shall come down upon his own sake. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness and will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. You know, as the Jewish people are persecuted by the Nazi, that is Hitler, you know, Second World War II, World War II, same thing going to happen in the Great Tribulation because they rejected their Messiah, Jesus Christ, to kill. And that's why God allowed them to believe Antichrist in the Great Tribulation. Then they shall also cry out to the Lord. You know, these things are happening, okay? Even those people who do not believe in Jesus Christ, they enter a great tribulation, they're also going to cry out to the Lord at that time, if they're willing to repent, okay? Yeah, this is, uh, this, the Psalm chapter seven, just I read, is related to these things you know, happening in near future. Okay, today's you know, main passage is Book of Daniel, 
Daniel was a young boy, you know, young boy. You cannot excuse, I'm so young, I'm so young, that's why, you know, you don't expect me too much. No, you cannot say that, all right? Age is nothing to the, with our faith, okay? All right, book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1 through 13. Let me read it for you. Listen very carefully. This chapter 12 is uh, in conclusion of, you know, whole, whole book of Daniel, okay? And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. Such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time, and at the time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even to the, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Then I, Daniel, looked and behold, there stood other two, the one in this side of the bank of the river and the other on that side of the bank of the river. And one said to the man, clothed in light, uh, linen, which was upon the waters of the river, how long shall it be to the end of these Wonders, And I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, when he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven, and swear by him that lives forever, that it shall be for a time, times, and and half. And when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. And I heard, but I understand not. Then said I, O oh my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. And from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, and the abomination that maketh desolate set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. But go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of the days. Yeah, today's theme subject, as you see, the meat of the words of God is given to us in due time, through Prophet Daniel. Yes, thousand, thousand years ago, God has given us His Word to be happening soon. It's a matter of time before it happen, before our eyes so close. You know what Jesus said about the lazy shepherd 
and the good shepherd that gave the meat in due time to the Jews. The shepherd means, you know, leaders, teachers of, you know, Jewish people. Some are lazy, some are not lazy, okay? Also, he's talking about, you know, shepherd in these days is, you know, pastors. The teaching was a God. Someone lazy, someone so diligent, okay? Yeah, therefore, be you also ready for in such an hour as you think that the Son of Man comes. Son of Man means Jesus Christ himself. Who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord hath made rule over his household to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant, whom his Lord, when he comes, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler of all his goods. But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord delays his coming, and shall be begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunken, the Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of it and shall cut him asunder, and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Yes. You know, to be shepherd of God, to be shepherd of the church, to be pastors in the church these days, you know, it is so fearful. Unless they are diligent, unless they preach the words of God in due time, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Where? In heaven? No, in hell. Of course, this is the word of God is spoken of in the future of Zion when he comes to Israel to judge his people and raise his kingdom in Zion. Both ancient prophets and apostles have left the earth leaving the meat of the words of God in due time to the people of God. God built his church on the foundation of apostles and prophets. That means on the sacrifice of prophets and apostles. They all, almost of them, you know, modern by the people. And made Jesus Christ the only begotten son to be a cornerstone of the church. That's why he is called as the head of the church. Apostle Paul testified of this unto saints and visions. Now, therefore, you are no more strangers, foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building fitly framed together Grace unto the holy temple in the Lord, in whom you also are built together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. Yes, whenever children of God, you know, get together in his name of Jesus Christ, you know, he is among with us. That means what? The church, our congregation, consists of, you know, uh, every born again, child of God. He just make us, you know, his temple, you know, dwelling in us, all right? That's why whenever we get up together, he is with us even today, all right? I bless you to open your eyes to see spiritually. That's right. Now the shepherds in the church of God, as well as Jews, have to feed their flocks the words of God in due season. This meat in due season means the time when the kingdom of Jesus Christ is to be built to fulfill the will of God that is to be one in Jesus Christ in heaven and earth. It doesn't matter of time and space, but the time has been already fixed for the judgment of his people and the world. It is only a matter of time before it is fulfilled. Already, 
It is already set up. Doesn't matter time. It is totally different concept from man's point of view saying, oh, it is near in terms of time. But now, God teaches us of the due season of him that is also near even in time and manner, even our time, even time and manner so near. God spoke through his servants who had been chosen to declare in advance the words he made sure to happen. The prophet Daniel was also one of them. He was used as a prophet of God from the time of his young boy. He had been used by God as a prophet for a long time, ranging from Babylon, Media, and Portia. Yeah, three dynasty. He was righteous of the righteousness of the law at the time than anyone else. God said of him through prophet Ezekiel, you know, God said about him, how, mu how much he's righteous, okay? He listen very carefully. The word of the Lord came again to me, saying, Son of man, when the, hand, when the land sinneth against me by trespassing grievously, then will I stretch out mine hand upon it, and will break the staff of the bread thereof, and will send the famine upon it, and will cut off man and beast from it, though these three men, Nor, Daniel, and Job, were in it, they should deliver but their own souls by their righteousness, says the Lord God. Oh, how much devastated spiritually at the time. Same thing, how much devastated spiritually this time, these days. Daniel through prophecy, through the prophet Jeremiah, realized that the will that will end the devastation of Jerusalem from Babylon in the time of 70 years is to be fulfilled. Fasting, putting toward his face to God, and sprinkling the ashes, and wearing a linen that is thicker by prayer and supplication, prayer and confess. Yes, it is real prayer. He intercedes his people, even though he was righteous. But he prayed for the people of Israel. They were not ready to come out of Babylon. Though they are so much sinful. And I prayed unto the Lord my God and made my confession. It then you said, right? And said, O Lord, the great and dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him, and to them that keep his commandments, we have sinned and have committed iniquity, and have done wickedly, and have rebelled, even by departing from thy precepts and from thy judgment. Neither have we hearkened unto thy servants, the prophet, which spake in thy name to our kings, our princes, and our fathers, and to all the people of the land. O Lord, righteousness belongs unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces, as at this day to the men of Judah and to the inhabitations of Jerusalem, and unto all Israel that are near and that are far off, through all the countries whither thou hast driven them because of their trespass that they have trespassed against thee. Yes. He confessed with his people, totally trespassed, okay? Finally, God sent angel Gabriel unto him to give the words of God in the due season of the things happening to pass in Israel as well as in all the earth. Gabriel gave wisdom and understanding to him so that he might understand the words of God and declare his words. I bless all of you in the name of Jesus Christ. God to give you wisdom and understanding so that you may also be able to declare his word, to preach the gospel. 
you know, Daniel testified like this, saying, and he informed me and talked with me and said, oh, Daniel, I am now came forth to give the skill and understanding at the beginning of thy supplications. Supplication means his prayer. The commandment came forth. And I am come to show you, show thee, for thou art greatly beloved. Great beloved by God. Do you think we are great beloved by God? Think about that. Pray. Listen towards the voice of God. Therefore, understand the matter and consider the vision. Seventy weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish it the transgression and to make an end of sins and to make a reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness and to seal up the vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy. God asked Daniel to see the vision after God gave understanding of it, for the vision shall be fulfilled after the Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son of God, as well as the Messiah, shall take away the sin of the world through dying on the cross, the Jews and Gentiles for, for them. God had planned to open the seal through Apostle John to give the meat in the due season once again, that is written in the book of Revelation. From now on, it is time to think and decide how to live for the rest of our life through understanding the meat in the due, due season, the words of God in the due season, time and manner, they shall be happening before us, so no later. Yeah, in the book of Daniel, chapter 12, is the word uh, for the last seven years of the Great Tribulation to give the final opportunity to the Jews to be saved. That means so that they may be able to receive Jesus Christ in the Great Tribulation. That's why it is of the final one week, seven years, of the 70 weeks, that means 490 years, is set up by God for the people of Israel. The final chance, it will be final chance for them to repent, to receive Jesus Christ. And it is called the trouble of Jacob, as well as the time of judgment coming to all the earth. During the time of trouble, the remnant of Jews shall be saved. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Not only Jews, but also children of God shall reign with Christ forever, wearing the crown of joy as much as they turn to righteousness through preaching the gospel. Yes, Jews are Gentile, Jews are church of God. Same way. Rewarding. God used Daniel to testify about what will happen when the words of God in due season is going to happen. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. That means what? He's talking about when, how you know when it is due season, due time. That means how they know the end of the words of God is so close, near. Yeah, very simple. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Do you understand what I'm saying? God foretold that there shall be cars and airplanes and ships to make people be able to run to and fro, and that there shall be flowing the knowledge of the world through the smartphone in the palms of man. Now we understand, right? Even 30 years ago, we, you know, we cannot expect these things happening. 
Yeah, I know because I, at the time I was industry computer. At the time, you know, there's no, no smartphone, you know. Even no cellular phone at the time. Now, almost everybody has a smartphone. God asked Daniel to seal the vision that he saw. He saw that already, but he sealed. God asked him to, to do, and told them when it is time of the end. And I heard the man clothed in linen, which is upon the waters of the river, when he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven, and swear by him that lived forever, that it shall be for a time, for a time and times and a half. That means, and when he shall have accomplished to consider the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. Yeah, he spoke of the time of the end. You know, Jesus also said unto the Jews, when you therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of thy Daniel the prophet, and stand in the holy place, whose read, let him understand. That means why in the future Antichrist shall sit in the seat of God, in the temple of God. They say, I'm God, you know. Then left them which be in Judea, flee into the mountain. Yeah, just like Hitler, they, he want to kill all Jewish people again. You have to flee into the mountains. Jesus, at the resurrection, appeared, you know, to Apostle John and showed him of the time of the end. And when the dragon saw that he was cast into the earth, he persecuted the woman, woman means Israel, which brought forth the man, child, Jesus, right? And to the woman was given two wings of great eagle. Two wings of great eagle, what? Jumbo jet that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place, is Sela, Petra, bottom of the Dead Sea. It's made of rocks. Where she is nourished for a time and times and a half a time. That means what? Two years and a half from the face of the serpent. Yeah, we are living in the days when the words in due season is going to happen before our eyes as a prophet and apostle foretold. You must know that. You know that? You must know that. It is called, you know, uh, kind of words of God such as steak, not just in milk, okay? It's a time you you just eat in a kind of a steak of words, you know, instead of milk. Yeah, you need milk too. Soap to one. Soap to words. To, you know, words of love, you know. But you have to know this. That's Daniel, all right? Daniel. Remember Daniel. In Sweden, five years boy, born again of the Holy Spirit, he's preaching. Yeah, he's preaching. Yes, that's matter of Whosoever Holy Spirit within can preach the word of God. Because the preaching isn't what? Not by man's word, but by, you know, the Holy Spirit and power. See, whosoever Holy Spirit, you are able to preach. Yes. Remember this, okay? Now, God spoke clearly unto us right now how to live in this age through Prophet Daniel. Many shall be purified and made white, and tried. But the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. But the wise shall understand. Do you have wisdom? You are wise? You must understand. You are either one of them. You are purifying yourself to make white your soul, you tried, or not doing that as wicked people. Apostle John also testified the same words. 
at the end, what happening. Every man that has this hope in him purifies himself. This hope means rapture, hope for rapture. Even as he is pure, Jesus is pure, you know. To meet Jesus, we have to be pure. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Yes. We are justified by the blood of Jesus Christ. We are not supposed to defile our heart, our spirit, our soul. Okay? That's why we have such kind of grace. We have to keep our soul, spirit, body holy until his coming to call upon his name, to lift up to heaven with the power of the Holy Spirit. I bless all of you understand these words in due time and behave yourself at the end time. Understand what's going on in the earth as you see. Bless all of you to be blessed by the Lord Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit. Amen.